Yes, Everybody, welcome back to Free Friday. Jason Ritchie here. Today, we're going to talk about positions. Positions explained. Harmonica positions. What the heck is a position? What position am I playing in? I'm sitting down. What a position are you playing in? You're standing up. All that stuff. So it's a little confusing. What happened was this. This fella on my Patreon named Salbo, who's a great guy and is always writing stuff and trying to learn and stuff, is very, very confused about this subject. I'm not going to read you all of his correspondence, but it's been, it's been bothering me a little bit thinking about him and how he's kind of reacted. I sent, I put up one of Tomlin's videos, one of Liam's videos, one of jo- Jonah Fox's videos, maybe some Ronnie Shellis, some other stuff, and none of that stuff helped him. So I thought, you know, it's funny because I haven't done a video on this subject. I mean, I've done lots of videos on first position, second position, third position, 12th position, etc., But I've never done a video on what is a harmonica position. So why is that, right? Why didn't I do that video? Well, it's not the easiest thing in the world to explain, especially when somebody is maybe a little bit resistant to hearing about theory. So in this video today, I'm going to try to fill a void on YouTube and make a video where there is zero theory involved in what position playing is. So you don't have to know anything about the major scale or anything, okay? I might talk about the key of the harmonica and the key of the band, but all you got to know is that's what's printed on the harmonica and what the band is. I'm not going to tell you why it works, how it works, or or anything like that. I I won't tell you any scale degrees, nothing. This whole video is going to be just for cats that don't get any of that stuff, and maybe that don't even want to understand that. They want to play in third position. They want to be able to to do it, but they they don't care about why, and and, and none of that. And I'm going to tell you that that's how I started. <laughs> All right, when when I was coming up, that I I was able to hear that that the the guys on the record sounded different than I did. So I was playing in second position, and I could I remember listening to Junior Wells. And going, well, that's a different harmonica than the one that I have. And that's why I can't play it. So what is that? So we'll talk a little bit about that and more. So first of all, what is a harmonica position? So it's just, what that means is no theory. What that means is, what harmonica do you pick up versus what key is the band in? So if the band is in C and I pick up a C harmonica, they call that first position, okay? Because that's the position the harmonica was initially intended to play in and the only position it was ever intended to play on. However, over the years, people found out that you could play these things in any key. In one of them, you could play in any key. So how many keys are there? There's 12. How many positions are there? There's 12. Now, really only three, four, five, six of them usually get used. But there's cats that play in all 12 for sure. I usually play in, you know, six positions, right? Something like that. So about half of them. Okay. So anyway, what the heck is it? Well, let me just show you. It's clear to you, not explain to you. I think it'd be a hard thing for you to really understand So I have an A harmonica, it's a golden melody by Tom Halchek. So what I'm doing is I'm going over to YouTube and and we're going to start with the most common position that we hear, which is second. So it's funny because the most common position isn't even first position, it's second position. Because that's the one that we hear most guys doing and blues and stuff like that. So all I'm going to do, right, is just blow in and out of the harmonica, right? I mean, I'm going to play, like, certain notes. <laughs> now, that two draw is the is the, set, the focal point. 
because that's an E. But you, you don't have to even know that. Just know that two draw is the same note that the key of the song is in. So that's it. it so that you're probably used to hearing that so you're used to hearing that sound those blues licks but what if I don't know any of those licks well I can still play an A harp in E without knowing anything I can still play an A harp in any position how good that sounds is subjective <laughs> okay hold on let's so let me go back to the thing in E right play it okay now I'm just gonna blow in and out Just like that, okay? So I don't have to know anything about it. The, the more I listen to the old guys do it and try to imitate what they sound, how they phrase things, too. just try to figure that out. That The better I'm going to be. I can also go on YouTube and Google second position licks, right? That's it. Or talk to somebody at my bar or the harmonica player that comes into town that's trying to make some money, maybe bother him for 15 minutes. And if he's really nice, he'll say he'll help you out. He might be too busy. He might be trying to get something to eat or smoke or drink. In that case, just be considerate. It's hard. Okay, so now I'm going to take the same harmonica. The only thing I'm going to do is go to YouTube and change the key of the song. The song is going to be now in A, and the harmonica I have is in A. So, look, it takes a little bit of time to figure out what to do when the band changes. Because you, you need to change what you're doing on the harmonica. So, you don't have to understand what a position is. You really don't. All, all you got to do is pick up the right harmonica. Now, you, you can get a chart. Like, this one is from Richard Slay. I really like it. You can just move it around. It's really fantastic. I'll put a link to Richard's thing below. And, and, and you know, <laughs> I want, I'm, I'm here with you, Saul, but let me, let me tell you, and, and some of you other guys, uh, some of these charts are wrong, right, that are online. Like, you Google stuff, and it, it's, it's not correct. So I, I really feel your pain, right? I, I get it. I get it. It's not the easiest thing to understand. But see, like, this one here says key of the song right there. So put it in A. Right? Because I got an A harp in my hand. So, there we go. So, the, so it's, it's in A. I'm trying to work backwards here. 12th position is in E. Right? All of this stuff, okay? So, so, there, so there's, that would tell me what every position is. Now, when I was starting out, I didn't know what harmonica to pick up. Now, I knew how to play in third position from listening to records. I kind of knew, anyway. But but if you, but if, but I didn't know what harmonica to grab to do that. I'm still like that with like sixth and seventh position with other positions, right? I don't have it memorized and and I don't know my circle of fifths good enough to, to do that. So so maybe I'm a good guy for the job here because I, I 
I'm not like the most informed cat there is, you know. Somebody else could tell you better than me if if, if you're an experienced player and you and I'm sure they will in the comments and that's great, great. Like put them in the comments. But anyway, I used one of these charts. I you know, I didn't have this one. I had like a printout that came with a I think with like the Lee Oscar thing or something and I put that in my harmonica case. So I knew that Jimmy Reed played in a lot of first position, which we're about to do. And I knew what some of Jimmy Reed's licks were because I'd listened to Jimmy Reed and I tried it. And and then, and then like, you know, the next thing you know, I I would just, they would call a song an A and I would grab this, this not this chart, but another chart and I'd go, oh yeah, A, I use an A harp. Uh, duh, I should have known that. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. Somebody's blowing up my song. So this song here is going to be an A. And I have an A harp. So even if I didn't know anything about Jimmy Reed or anything, and I just blew into the harmonica. It's going to be okay. Now, I could have done the same thing in cross harp, and I probably should have. But, but I can just, it actually even works better in cross harp because it's blues. Certain positions are easier to play with certain styles of music. Like, for example, for blues, it's actually easier to play in second position or what they call cross harp than it is in first. And you just figure that out as you go. In first position is easier to play like folk melodies and like real major stuff, Oh Susanna, stuff with the major scale. If you don't know what the major scale is, that's the one that goes Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, Ti, La, La. But once you learn kind of what the licks sound like by just listening to guys, William Clark and Little Walter and Junior Wells and Butterfield and all them cats. <laughs> Now first, first position's the one you hear people doing all this high squeaky stuff. So anyway, just blowing in first position. What does that mean? Let's just pretend I don't know. It just means I grabbed an A harp and A and I started doing stuff I heard other guys do on records. So if you don't want to learn any of the theory, you're going to have to go and find out what guys who also didn't know any theory <laughs> did when they grabbed an A harp and A. When they grabbed a B harp and B. When they grabbed a B flat harp and B flat. So you're gonna have to go, oh, that sounds like this. And then they skip the middle octave. And then they just did that. <laughs> and you then in turn, just steal some of those licks. And then and the only thing you gotta remember is they, they matched the song key to the key of the harmonica, right? That's it. And then for second position, the way I remember what harmonica to pick up, if the band is in E, I just go, I just go up the alphabet, E, F, G, A. So I count up four. That's if I don't have a chart and I and I I don't need the chart anymore. I got I got it memorized. But in the beginning, when I didn't have a chart, I would go, okay, their band's in E. One, two, three, four. E, F, G, A. So if the band's in B, B, C, D, E. Right. Yeah, right, just like that. <laughs> C, D, E, F. If they're in B flat, B, B, C, D, E flat. So I would just take out the, 
the, the, the, the thing in the beginning, just call it the alphabet, B, C, D, E flat. That's what I did when I was a kid before I knew anything at all about theory, okay? And you can just do the same thing. Now for third position, right, we're only gonna cover three today because I'm not trying to teach positions. There's, again, there's tons of videos on my channel and tons of videos all over YouTube explaining how to do all kinds of fun things in these positions. I'm just trying to give you an overview of what to do if you don't want to learn any theory or if in some way or another you're feeling resistant or, or scared or you feel like you can't do it. I get those feelings a lot. They just stop me in my tracks. I'm like, I just start thinking, I'm not smart enough. I'm not good enough. I'm never going to get this. This type of language, okay? It's very counterproductive. I know. I get it too. But over time, by not giving up, suddenly it dawned on me what these people were talking about. Sometimes it took years for it to click because of me, right? <laughs> because I was like on some level like angry with me and just thought that I was just a not good enough, you know? And it wasn't true. But eventually it became my idea and I'm like, oh yeah, I got that. Yeah, that's just first position today. <laughs> All right, so now, same harmonica, right? So, so far we've had two different keys of music and we've had the same harmonica. So now I'm just gonna play an A harmonica in the key of B, or B minor. So this is a quiz backing track. All the backing tracks are linked below that I'm using. So, so I could do, one of the first thing I can do is just start trying to steal licks from other people. Right, just try to steal a quiz lick. Okay, but anyway. So now this position centers around the one draw, the four draw, and the eight draw. Just like second position centered around two draw, and then its octave was six blow and nine blow. Okay, this in first position was one blow, four blow, seven blow, ten blow. Okay, so the, the, the only theory you need to know is match the whole with the position. So in third position, you just start on one draw or four draw. And then you just kind of toy around and find what sounds good. And you can do that using your own ear. Just, oh, I think that sounded good, or I don't like that note. Or when I hit three draw in third position, it sounds weird. And then maybe you can ask a more informed question later on to somebody that can help you. Why does it sound weird? And they'll say, oh, well, it's the major six of blah, blah. And you say, whoa, 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 whoa. And then they might just say to you something like this. Okay, look. Just don't hit that note in the beginning. <laughs> you can hit it on the next chord, it'll be fine. Or, or, or <laughs> you know what I mean? Somebody that's compassionate might, might help you. Now, the other thing is, a lot of times when people are trying to explain to you stuff, it's not that they, they're trying to use words that you don't understand on purpose, but we have to agree on certain words. A lot of music theory has nothing to do with music theory or math at all. It's just us agreeing on a term so that we can communicate not only with each other, but with the musicians in the band. So I'm making a video with no theory at all to get you started because I believe that it's important to get started. I need to get your confidence up, right? And then I think maybe you, then you might be able to stop and go, I don't hate myself so much now because I know I can play and sound okay. So let me listen to what this guy's saying. Maybe I can get it. And maybe if I don't get it now, maybe I will understand it in six months. So I'm going to start on one draw. Four draw.
Now, let me show you something else. Now, this is for the more advanced students. Going back to the blues in E. So, what did I say? E, F, G, A. Right? For second position. So, the band is an E, and I have an A harmonica. Okay. Going to start on the two draw. And play whatever I want. Right? Just some, some junk. <laughs> okay. And then, what happens in this song? What happens in a blues? Well, it's a... It's a one, four, five. What does that mean? I, 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 don't wanna, I don't know what that means. I'm angry. Okay, don't get angry, right? E, F, G, A. One, two, three, four. E, F, G, A. So what is A? It's code. E, F, G, A. It means four. One, two, three, four. So where's five? E, F, G, A, B. So what songs, what keys did we do today? We did E, we did A, and we did B. I'm holding in my hand a harmonica in A. So E, I'm going to use an A harp, E, F, G, A, using an A harp in the key of E. So now A is the next chord, one. So what am I, what am I holding in my hand? An A harp. I can play first position over A. Because I got an A harp in A, the first one I had an E harp in. So I can play multiple positions in, the one, in one song, or I can look at it that way. That's all it is. I'm just looking at it that way. I'm still playing in second. Now, when the third chord comes up, E, F, G, A, B, and I'm holding in my hand an A harp. When I, the, one of the ways that I found third position before I had these charts was I just found, I found out somehow or another that it was a... The harmonica would be a whole step key, a key, a whole key or alphabet letter below the key of the song. So if the band was in B, I would count backwards down the alphabet to A and then grab that harmonica and just pick up and start playing. I'll play some second position licks on the first chord, some first position licks on the, sec on the second chord or, or the four chord, and then on the last chord, I'll play some third position licks. So I'll be playing one harmonica, but kind of looking at it as playing in three positions because the positions have different styles. Certain things sound better on each chord. So I can take I can learn the same licks. First position. Second. Third. First. Ah. Second. <laughs> right. The moral of the story is the harmonica will work one harmonica will work in multiple keys, in multiple keys. And the more you know what you're doing, the, the more you, you learn about it, the, the, the easier that is to do. Now, you, and you don't have to know anything about theory in the beginning to get going. And, 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 and a lot of the greats didn't know anything about it at all and still played effectively in three or four positions. Okay, little Walter and... Uh, and cotton and, uh, and a lot of these cats uh, a lot of them played in even more than three or four positions they just did, they just didn't record in it that we know of so that so it's out there and, and you don't have to be a musical genius or have a, a degree from Juilliard or the Berkeley School of Music to start doing it now I think a lot of the problem that people run into is they they feel like they need to understand stuff before they do it. 
which is very safe and cautious and smart. However, it's just a harmonica, okay? Nothing bad's gonna happen. There's not gonna be any locusts or anything, right, that come, or the uh, roofing gonna come crashing down, okay? You just gotta try it. So you, what you do is, is, is Salba, if you're watching this, or anybody out there that doesn't understand positions, you, you grab your A harmonica, and you click on the backing track in E, and then you blow a little bit, and you see what sounds good. And then you go to the one in A, and you keep the same harmonica in your hand, and you do the same thing. You click on it, and you blow a little bit, and you see what sounds good. If something doesn't sound good, and or you don't understand why it doesn't sound good for you in first, and it does in the other position, well, or vice versa, you just go on YouTube and you type in second position licks cross harp blues licks, first position blues licks. And then you go, okay, Jason said first position is A on an A harmonica. All right, I can I can do that. Or, or, or I forgot what Jason said, but I got this chart or I Googled a chart and it said that A is an A harmonica. So let me search first position blues licks. And then I go to the song and then I play the blues licks. And the next thing you know, you start to hear them. Jonah Fox said that each position has a distinctive sound. That's sort of true, right? There, you know, it, especially for blues. He's absolutely right. There are certain songs where you can just kind of instantly identify the position. Now, with some of the better players, they start treating each chord like a different position, which I explained a little bit, and then it becomes difficult. So a lot of times when people ask me what position I'm playing in, I might say something like, well, I started in second. And then, you know, so truthfully, I'm in second the whole time, but not really, okay? I'm not being, that's not an honest answer. I'm, I'm, I'm alternating what I do on each chord. I'm no longer thinking about the harmonica as in a position other than which one did I pick it up to begin the song in. Now, for blues, that's not the case. I just say second position, third position, whatever. If I'm being short with somebody, I might, T tell them just second position on, on a song that's not blues or whatever and that would be true that would be the position that I started playing it so all you got to do is you start picking it up and trying it remember that I didn't know anything about this stuff and neither did Junior Wells really they knew what harmonica to grab and they people told them over time and then and then literature came out and some of them cats read some of that stuff I mean Junior Wells explains it in his Hot Licks video, which I think is free on YouTube. And, and he, he, he does the best job he can of saying, look, well, you know, you can play this harmonica and, or this one or this one. All three of these harps here is you can play in D with. I think that Charles Ridge is really understand what I'm trying to tell you is that uh, if I should explain to you about these three different harmonics that I have here, they're all in the key of D. You can explain it, but you cannot really make other people understand what I'm trying to and that, say. And that's it. And he doesn't know anything about mixolydian scales or 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 or, or major scales or blue scales even. He he just knows that this is. You grab this one and you do this stuff and it works good. You grab this one and and you maybe avoid this note. How did he learn all that stuff? Well, through experience and through listening. If you do what I think you should do. I'm not trying to tell you what. Yeah. The great thing about learning something about music theory is it saves you time. You, you don't have, you, you just can find out what notes work and what don't by knowing what notes are in the key of the song. That's great. It saves you time. But you don't have to. You can just laboriously, but it's fun, examine music. And just, that's what ended up happening to me. I never knew anything about music theory. I didn't have any fancy harmonica teachers really i mean i went the guys that taught me didn't know anything about it they would just say well you just kind of pick it up and and just kind of blow into it like, and i go what and they go oh yeah you blow into that four hole and then then the second one just kind of bend it a little right I, how do you do that vibrato oh i don't know you just kind of like a monkey Okay, wow. All right, so and I just wouldn't say anything. I would record the lesson. I would study it for years and years and years. 
No theory, nothing nobody told me about major thirds, major triads, fifths, flat fifths, any of that stuff. Just did it. So Salba, anybody out there watching, just do it. Grab the A harmonica and then put on the song in A. Grab the A harmonica, put on the song in E. Grab the A harmonica, put on the song in B. Now, whether you're doing it, whether it sounds good or not, you're still playing, whether you like it or not, in second, first, and third position, or first, second, and third position. You're still doing it. Now, how do you make it sound better? What did I say? Let me repeat myself. Go to YouTube, find some first position licks, second position licks, third position licks, or find a harmonica teacher that will say, oh, well, Jimmy Reed played a lot in first position. So yeah, this song, Bright Lights, it's in A. Just just grab this this harmonica here, and I'll, I'll show you what to do. Just, just kind of do this. Well, what is that? I, I don't know. I just kind of blow into that second one from the top. Make it a little sloppy like I'm drunk. That's it. That's it. That's it. Just get in there and do it. That's how you learn positions if you're theory resistant or you don't like it or you you, you get makes you mad. All right. Love you all. Talk to you later. Stay tuned for Thank the you everybody for tuning in to Jason Ritchie's YouTube channel. 16 years of incredible YouTube harmonica related content. That's right. 16 years. At this point over 500 free instructional videos. If you're interested in what kind of harmonicas I play, microphones, amplifiers, pedals, any harmonica related products, please check out my sponsors. These sponsors in one way or another also help keep these videos going. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about Blue Moon Harmonicas bringing you the best in custom harmonicas. We got custom cover plates, custom combs. You can get your name put on it, just like me. Reed work, refurbished pre-war marine bands. Look at that, they put the little brace there, no more crushing the covers. The Lone Wolf Blues Company, the very best in pedals, microphones, almost anything you need for your amplified harmonica needs. The Lone Wolf Blues Company, right here out of Ponchatoula, Louisiana. We got you. Harp Gear Amplifiers. They got big ones, they got small ones. You know what they sound like? They sound like the best tube amps on the market. Harp Gear Amplifiers out of Ocala, Florida. Pedal pad, pedal boards. Incredible custom pedal boards, built to last, made by two brothers who really, really care. Honer harmonicas. A moon cat loves the Honer harmonica. I like the marine band. I get Tom to put the little special 20 cover plates on it. He tricks them out, but they play great right out of the box. All of these sponsors are linked below in the description box. What else is linked below? Patreon. Consider becoming a Patreon patron. You'll be supporting me. You'll be supporting the cause. You'll be keeping these videos free for everybody. And you'll get a lot of extra content over at Patreon. You'll get vlogs, occasionally some extra lessons, some posts that you might not see on Facebook. A lot of stuff that I can't say or won't say here on YouTube is over on Patreon. I love my Patreon family. You guys are the best. If you're not into the monthly subscription, you can also give me a one-time tip at Venmo or PayPal below too. I'm a touring musician and I play all over the country, really all over the world with all kinds of different acts. Check out my website, www.mooncat.org. In all seriousness, YouTube, Patreon, my sponsors have absolutely changed my life. Subscribe below, set reminders for the videos, don't miss any events. Every single Friday there's a free harmonica lesson and a lot more. Even if you're just subscribing, you're helping me a lot. Those of you that are joining me on Patreon, you guys are helping me to make better decisions with my career. In all sincerity, thank you so much, YouTube, for just an incredible, incredible outlet. It's a video diary. I get to look back at 16 years of these videos. I had a lot of new friends, some really fine musicians, made some great contacts in the industry, and it's all because of you. Thank you, my harmonica family.